I slept so deeply last night. Good morning, babe. What was that? Why'd you put your phone away so quickly? Trying to hide something from me? Just kidding, of course. You never do something like that. So, which dish would you like me to make for your breakfast today? <laughs> Why is your phone buzzing so incessantly? Um, you have a new friend. Well, you should introduce me to them. To, um, her? Okay, you can introduce me to her. I didn't know you made any new human friends. A demon, you say? You met somebody while we were in the demon realm? And you didn't tell me? Why not? How did you even manage to... I keep my eyes glued to you when we're in the demon realm. I don't understand how you possibly could have... Never mind. Why don't you tell me about this... Demon friend of yours, hmm? A succubus. Is that right? Now you hiding it from me is even more suspicious. So you met a succubus in the demon realm, and you've been texting her. You didn't tell me, and you're hiding it from me. Why is that, my love? You've always told me everything. <laughs> and I've never pressured you into revealing everything about yourself. You've always told me everything of your own free will. <sighs> See, if you think that, that succubus just wants to be your friend, then you're incredibly naive. You see, that is not how female demons work. Of course you would say she's nice, but you're not from the demon realm. I am, though. And I can tell you, without a doubt in my mind, that she does not want to be your friend. But you belong to me. Clearly, it would seem that she has already put some sort of spell on you. Worked her incredibly vile succubus magic on you. I cannot blame you. You're just a human. You, of course, have no defenses against such magic. You don't think that she touched you, did she? In any kind of way that only I should touch you. Because if she did, I believe I'll have to fly down to the demon realm and uh, tear her tiny little wings off. <laughs> she didn't. That's good. 
Unfortunately for her, though, I'm still going to have to tear her limb from limb. I don't know how I can explain this in a way that it'll make sense for you, but... When a demon enters a pact with a human, romantically or otherwise, it is still a pact. In a way, I have a claim on you. A claim that all other demons can sense. She may not have seen me. She may not have touched me or met me or spoke to me. But she knew you were mine. And despite that, my poor naive love, she decided to have her way with you. However innocent you swear it was, it is still incredibly disrespectful to me. Of course I'm not upset with you, darling. You've done nothing wrong. However, I will have to break her spell by the only way I know how. <sighs> and that, of course, would be to remind you why it is you fell in love with me. I don't know how else I would break such a spell. Isn't love the most powerful thing? So, I must remind you of all your favorite things about me. Which, now that I think about it, I don't actually know if I know. Hmm. You like my cooking, of course. All of my dishes from the demon realm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of our first dates I cooked for you. Don't you remember? Right. <sighs> what else? My caring side. I just want to look after you. And make sure that everything you need is always 100% taken care of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you like that about me. I don't know, I can't help it. I just... Care about you so much. Wait, I see something, a glimmer in your eye, perhaps? For a second, I thought maybe, maybe there was some recognition there, some, something more. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe this whole thing is stupid. <sighs> what am I gonna do? If I lose you, I have nothing. No one. I'll be alone. You have something to tell me? <sighs> All right. I suppose I'd better prepare for the worst. Go on. What is it that you have to tell me, my love? Mm-hmm.
I am... I don't understand. You... aren't under... a curse? So... you asked the succubus to put a spell on you. I'm not really sure how that makes this any better. <laughs> you asked her to give you a spell of courage. That would help you love me more fearlessly? Babe, that's incredibly romantic. Why didn't you just tell me that sooner? We could have avoided this whole thing. Well, I suppose I am a bit upset that you had me worried over nothing, but... I also can't overlook how adorable that is. <laughs> I mean, you've always been shy. There's nothing wrong with that. It's one of the reasons I love you. You don't have to change yourself for me. I promise. I love you just the way you are. No matter what. Perfect. I promise. Think about how long we've been together. Would I have stayed this long if I didn't think you were the greatest, most generous and selfless person that there ever was? Exactly. So don't go thinking that you have to go under some stupid demon spells to change yourself on my account. There's no need. Well then. Since you're clearly in contact with her, you can tell her to get rid of it. We don't need it. You and I have more than enough confidence between us. And if you ever feel like you need some, I can give you some of my own. After all, what are partners for? Now, why don't you rest, and I'll go make you that breakfast. How does that sound? Hmm.